This video presents content from the iPad Apps One workshop, a workshop included in the Connecting Comprehension and Technology workshop series presented by the Hillcrest Elementary Media Center. The video focuses on content from Lesson One, Reflect Thinking with the Drawing Tool, from the book Connecting Comprehension and Technology. In this lesson, a first grade class is introduced to using the Drawing Pad iPad app to record their thinking following an interactive read aloud. This video specifically focuses on demonstrating how students are introduced to Drawing Pad for the first time during the modeling and guided practice portions of the lesson. Here is the specific language as well as the teaching moves used to guide student use of the technology. Okay, so now I'm going to take out my iPad and draw what this story makes me think about. Watch me. I'm going to go into the Drawing Pad app. It's here at the top of my screen where you see the drawing tools, the marker, paintbrush, crayon, and the colored pencil. Just tap. Next, I tap the green button that says New, and that opens up a white piece of paper. This is what the Drawing Pad looks like. On the left side, you'll see you have a tool drawer. There are many tools you can choose from. There are paint brushes, colored pencils, crayons, markers, regular pencils. When you tap on a tool, it will pop open so you can use it. I'm going to use the markers today, so I'm just gonna tap the green marker. And you can see that opens up a whole drawer full of markers. If I take my finger and drag down and swipe down, I can scroll through all the colors. And if I take my finger and drag up, swipe up, I can scroll through all of the colors to the bottom. To choose a marker color, I just tap it. I'm going to choose pink. And when the marker pops up like that, I know it's ready for me to use. And now I need to draw what this book made me think of today. It reminded me of my birthday, so I'm going to draw a birthday cake. And it reminded me of my fourth birthday, so I need four candles. And I'm going to switch to orange, just tap it, and add flames to my candles. And I want to add some text to tell more about my thinking. So I'm going to choose the purple, just tap it. And I want more room to write, so I'm going to close the drawer by tapping the silver handle to make more room. And this story reminded me of my birthday when I read it, read it. so I'm just going to write this story made me think of my birthday. So there you have it. I recorded my thinking using the Drawing Pad app. Now we're going to get started doing that together for guided practice. But wait just a second. Let me get my screen to look like yours. I'm going to return to the main menu. I'm just going to tap the handle on my drawer to open it. I'm going to tap the little house to get back to my regular tool drawer and tap the house one more time to get back to the main menu. Then I tap the home button on my iPad to close the app and get back to my regular screen. Now my screen looks like yours. I want you to turn your iPads over and wake up your iPad by tapping the home button. Remember that's the little button on the side of your iPad that has the little square on it. Go ahead and tap that home button to wake up your iPad. Is your iPad awake? Okay, great. Now find the drawing pad app, the one with all the drawing tools on it, and tap it. When the app opens, tap the green button that says new. And when you see the white piece of paper, give me a thumbs up so I know you're ready. So at this point, you can stop for a moment, make sure that everyone has found the app and they're able to open to the white sheet of paper and help anyone that might need help navigating the app. When everyone is ready to move on, you can prompt them again and say, 
Okay, friends, today I want you to draw what this text makes you think about. Think back to the story and carefully whisper to your think partner what this book made you think about today. So you're prompting them to ground themselves back in the story and remember their thinking. And when they've had a minute to share with their partner, you can prompt them to share out to the group. Okay, so what are some of your ideas? What will you draw? Give a few children a chance to share out ideas to the group, and then you can prompt them to go ahead and get started drawing. Tell them, okay, great thinking. Now pick a drawing tool from the drawer and get started. If you need help, start by asking a friend first, and I'll come around and help too. So at this point, kids are getting started drawing. In this part of guided practice, the kids are still on the carpet with you, and that's a purposeful teaching move. So at this point with a brand new app, you can survey everyone's iPad relatively quickly and make sure they've all found the correct app, that they're able to use the tools and get started recording their thinking, and you can quickly help anyone that might need help. When they've had a few minutes to work and everyone's had a successful start, you can prompt them with, okay, friends, you are really thinking about this book. I love it. Take a break from your work and share what you've done so far with your turn and talk partner. Make sure you tell your partner what this book made you think about. And again, you're giving them a chance to remember the kind of thinking that they're doing today and giving them a chance to share before you move on to dismissing them to independent practice. When they've had a minute to share with their partners, you can tell them, okay, terrific. I'm going to have you finish your drawings back at your tables. I'll come around and see how it's going. Please remember to use a tabletop carry as you move around the room. And that's it. That's the complete modeling and guided practice piece of introducing kids to the app. Notice that in this lesson, Kristen Zimke, the teacher, just introduces kids to the features of the app that they'll need to get started on the task at hand, and that's recording their thinking. She doesn't show them anything they don't need to use immediately. So, for example, she waits until she gathers kids on the carpet again at the end of workshop share session to walk them through taking screenshots of their work and emailing their images they created to the classroom email account. She doesn't try to introduce all of that at once. She does prompt them to use a tabletop carry when they go back to their tables to work, and that's a procedure this group of kids learned prior to this lesson. There's a picture on page four of the Connecting Comprehension and Technology book that shows a little boy using a tabletop carry. He has his forearms extended out in front of him with his iPad laying flat on top of his arms like a tabletop. And then his two hands are grasping the top of his iPad, so he has a nice secure grip on his device. She also taught this group of kids to set their iPads down completely on their desk or table before they pull out their chairs or move around in other ways. Those are just a few of the iPad procedures highlighted in the book and, and during the lesson. So that concludes the introduction of drawing pad during the modeling and guided practice portions of lesson one in connecting comprehension and technology. If you are interested in more information about the Connecting Comprehension and Technology book that provides lesson adaptations and extensions for Comprehension Toolkit, here is the citation for the book. And if you have any questions about using DrawingPad, would like a planning buddy to brainstorm with, or are looking to co-teach a lesson, don't hesitate to reach out. You can contact me or a friendly librarian using email or chat with me and other Hillcrest teachers using technology in the classroom using our school's tech integration Voxer group. Happy teaching!